back to my channel, Sticker Designs by Mel. I'm Melanie. Now today is going to be a different video. Um, I don't usually show my face on my videos, but um, I felt that you all needed an explanation <laughs> as to where I've been. I have not been as consistent with my filming as I have in the past. Um, and there's like one main reason for that, but um, I guess because of that, a few other things kind of pop up. So I just wanted to jump on here and film a video to explain to you what's been going on. So I did my makeup very quickly, um, tried to do my hair. My hair just does not want to cooperate. I need a haircut, someone that can style my hair properly because it's very long. I'll show you, it's very long and very heavy, very thick. So I need someone who knows what they're doing to be able to style my hair properly. Um, I'm in my classroom. If you can see the chalkboard behind me, that is uh, for two reasons. One, it's never quiet enough at my house that I can do like a sit down video so that I can talk with all of you. Um, but also I just wanted somewhere a little bit more private. So today is our first day after the students. So yesterday was the students' last day of classes. Today is like marking and getting report cards ready and stuff. So I'm doing okay with my marking so far. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and kind of sit here and let you all know where I've been and what's been going on. And I just dropped something. I don't know what it is. Um, so, and that's why I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's uh, just, you know, whatever day. So anyways, um, if you are new to my channel, um, you may not know, but in February of this year, both my parents were uh, tragically killed in a car accident. Um, and I will probably do another video that talks about what happened, how I heard about it, and the whole process. I don't feel like I'm quite ready to go there yet. Um, still too emotional, so, and I'm sure you can all understand. Um, but that did kind of set a chain of events in motion in terms of my business and my YouTube and everything. So they were killed in February, uh, February 2nd. And of course, I dropped everything. Um, I still had open orders on my website, so that was put on hold so that I could go back to my parents' hometown and just start dealing with all the funeral arrangements and everything. So I did that. Um, that also prevented me from being able to film. I wasn't really able to film while I was there. And I, I wasn't in the headspace anyway. Um, there's no way I could have pulled out my planners and started filming anything, budgeting, whatever. That, that wasn't going to happen. So, uh, the filming didn't happen for a little while. I had posted, I think, on Instagram a message that, you know, I would be away for a little bit, um, just explaining that. Some of my content wouldn't be there as usual. And um, I got so much really sweet, thoughtful, and caring feedback from everyone. So everyone who messaged me, thank you so much. I wasn't able to reply to everyone. It was just too much of a crazy time. But I did read all of the messages, and I did really appreciate it. And I still really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so having to go home and deal with all of that and... Um, being the eldest of two, um, I have a younger sister, and it uh, fell on me to handle all of the things. So um, I am the executor of my parents' estate, so I made all the arrangements, and I did all the things. So again, that will be in a separate video, otherwise we'll be here for a few hours. Um, why that would affect my content even now? So I went home in February. And between February and like mid-April, just before Easter, there was a lot of back and forth between my parents' hometown and where I currently live. There's about a four and a half hour difference between um, the two towns. So um, there was a lot of back and forth. I had to go back and forth quite a few times, obviously in the beginning for the arrangements, the funeral, all that kind of stuff. And then there was having to clean out the house, sort through all the things. Um, there's still, you know, work that has to be done with lawyers and the banks and insurance and everything. So, um, 
from February to about mid-April, um, I was really busy with all of that. So I think I did try to film a couple times here and there in that time frame, um, but definitely wasn't consistent. I was just, I was too busy and my, my brain was not in any headspace to be able to film. So I didn't even really pull out my planners pretty much the entire time unless I filmed something, which honestly right this second I can't remember if I filmed anything. Um, so, uh, mid-April, so after Easter, um, and I had been off work that whole time. I had gotten medical leave to be away from teaching um, until April, um, Easter. And then I felt like with everything being semi-resolved, um, my, my parents' house was now empty. We had kind of sorted through all the things. Um, there was still a lot of work to do with lawyers and everything, but I felt like the traveling back and forth was no longer necessary. So I did return to work after Easter. Um, looking back now, maybe I shouldn't have. Um, I don't know that I was ready. It Coming back to full-time teaching, it's, there's, there's a lot of work to do. There's lesson planning, there's marking, there's communicating with parents and students and all the things. Um, and then on top of that, my daughters, both of them who are competitive, um, they all had their things because it was time for competitions. So I think, um, and even having to take phone calls from lawyers and um, the insurance company wanting papers filled out right now, and I'm in the middle of class. I can't just stop my class and say, hey, I have to go fill out some paperwork. Um, so that was really difficult. I have to say, though, my principal here was amazing. Um, one day I did have to take a phone call with the lawyer, and my principal actually came and watched my class for me. So that was really nice, and she's been super supportive. I have never had a principal as supportive as she is, so I have been very thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I don't think I should have come back to work yet. I don't think I was in the right frame of mind to handle all of the things. I kind of felt like it might have been a way to escape my feelings while I was at home since I would be home alone all day. Um, the kids would go to school, my husband would go to work, and then I would be home. And a lot of times I spent crying, um, remembering things, that kind of thing. So it made it very difficult to be home, but then also coming back to work was has been very difficult. It's been very emotionally draining mentally draining, not so much physically, but definitely mentally draining. It's just been a lot. Um, now, so that's one of the reasons why I haven't been filming as much as just been the time commitment. I just have not had the mental capacity to be able to find the time to sit, um, plan what I want to film, and then actually put the filming together. Like sit down, get all my stickers, get my planners, everything, and turn the camera on. So that's one of the reasons. Just mental exhaustion and emotional exhaustion. It has been a lot. Now, that was one of the reasons. Um, another reason, and this is a little bit more, I don't know how to explain. It's, um, I don't know, I'll just tell you. So essentially, the last time my parents were at my house um, because they were at my house on I want to say January 31st February 1st and then they left my house on February 2nd and it was leaving my house on their way home that the accident occurred so um, there's a little bit of guilt there I'm not going to lie um, they weren't visiting me for like a visit they my mother was here for a medical appointment it just happens to be down the south because up north in Ontario, there's not a lot of um, specialists. So she had to come south for her appointment. So she stays at my house, of course, with my dad. Um, so the January 31st and February 1st, I was preparing for, I think I had uh, a planner sale coming up. I had um, an Erin Condren launch that I knew I would be getting that I would have to film and review 
Um, so I had a lot of things on the go. And my mom and I would always sit on the couch and we'd watch like Hallmark movies or whatever. And my dad would hang out and do his thing. And so, but the night before, so on February 1st, um, my mom and I had watched a few shows, but it was about eight o'clock or so. She usually went to bed at nine. Um, so I asked her, I was like, do you mind if I just go downstairs to my office and, and get some work done because I have some stickers I need to print and cut and I have some filming to do. She didn't know the full extent of everything I do, but she did know some. Um, she's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. I, I'm probably going to go to bed soon. So I said, okay. And um, so I went downstairs and I, I closed the basement door because my office is in the basement. And I filmed a video. I worked on some stickers and all the things, worked on some orders. And then the next morning is when I saw my parents for the last time. So all that just to say that I now feel like when I turn on the camera, it reminds me that I wasted the last night with my parents filming. So I'm going to try not to cry. Um, so there's a bit of guilt there where I feel like if I now film that I'm doing the same thing that made me waste that time. So, um, that guilt has been a little overwhelming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. It's been overwhelming and sorry if this triggers anybody at all. I probably should have done a trigger warning at the beginning. Um, but there is definitely some guilt there. And I know none of it was my fault. None of it was anybody's fault. Um, and like I said, all the details will come in a future video once I'm not like <laughs> crying. Um, but nothing was anyone's fault. There was nothing anyone could have done. Um, but the guilt is there. And it's not something I feel like I can just snap my fingers and make it go away. So um, I am trying to work through it hence my filming. I figure maybe talking through it will help. I have talked to some of my friends about it. I did speak to a therapist a couple times. I did have a few therapy sessions. Um, she said that, you know, obviously the emotions and everything um, are very valid, but I seem to be handling everything rather well. Now, I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know what this handling well is, but she seems to be under the impression I'm handling things well. Um, and I guess in some cases I am, I'm still functioning. So that's where we're at. Um, but it has affected mostly my filming. I've, I think I've kind of gotten back on track in terms of my website, my orders, um, my orders are all up to date, which is awesome. <laughs> um, designing is slowly back on track and releasing and all that kind of thing. So I think the website part of it is back on track. I'm also really working on my social media and I have to thank some of my best friends and you know who you are. And um, they've been really helping me out kind of talk through how I should improve my social media just to make sure that I am putting myself out there as well as my products because I don't want you to think that I'm just all about my website and all about my products and that's it. Uh, there is a real person over here so um, they've been really helpful that way so I have been working on that. The filming has still been a struggle um, and let me explain why. So for example budgeting. I have not done an actual like full budgeting video in a while and that's because I want to budget. So I want to keep on track of my budget, but I want to film my budgeting so that you can see what I'm doing. Otherwise I feel like, I mean, I'm still, I still need to do it for ourselves, for our family. I totally get that, but I feel like it's content and I want to share it with you. So, um, I haven't budgeted because when I've thought about budgeting and thought about filming it for all of you, then the thought of turning on my camera has brought in that guilt. So then I haven't turned on the camera and then I haven't budgeted. So I have not actually budgeted like a real budget in my planner um, since before my parents died. Honestly, I have sheets of paper on my desk that I will roughly go through numbers, but I've not actually done my proper budgeting and keeping track of my expenses and stuff still since before my parents died. And um, that has been really 
difficult because I'm spending money that I shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm not crazy or anything. I'm still, all the bills are being paid. Everything's being covered. I'm not worried about that, but, um, I'm not tracking my expenses like I used to. So I don't know exactly where all my money is going aside from where, you know, the bills. So that is kind of what I've been struggling with. I want to continue budgeting, but I want to film it. And because I feel guilty turning on my camera, I don't film it, so then I don't budget. And it's kind of been the same with planning. Um, I haven't done very many planning videos. Again, same thing. I want to lay out my plans and get everything sorted out, but then I go to turn on my camera so that I can share with all of you. Um, and then the guilt sets in. So I'm trying to work through that. Um, it's not easy. I have to really talk myself into it um, to turn on that camera. It's been definitely been a struggle. So anyways, that is where I'm at um, in terms of my filming. So hopefully with this video going out, um, hopefully I can find a bit more strength, a bit more, I don't know, I don't know if courage is the right word, but um, just something to help me kind of work through all of the feelings I have um, to really get back to filming. I do enjoy filming. I really do enjoy it. I enjoy sharing with all of you all of my processes from budgeting to planning to all the things. Um, and I do really, really miss it. I just really need to work on that just intense guilt that I feel. And I mean, if anyone has ever lost someone, I'm sure you probably understand that feeling of guilt. So um, that's where I'm at. So anyways, I just wanted to share with all of you what's going on. I'm hoping that um, I will be able to kind of slowly get back to my regular schedule of filming. I'm definitely not ready to film every single day, probably not for a little bit but I am going to try to get back to it. And I know I've said it in a few videos where I'm like, I'm sorry, I know I've been away. I will be back, you'll see it soon. And then nothing has happened. And that's because as soon as I tried, I couldn't do it. So that's where I'm at. I wanted to share. I hope I haven't upset anyone with this video and I apologize um, if this has brought up any emotions for anyone. Um, know that I'm here if you want to talk, if you want to leave a comment or message me privately, I'd be definitely willing to talk. Um, again, not a professional, um, but having lost both of my parents in a car accident, I kind of know the feeling of loss and it's been hard. So that's where I'm at. Um, I hope you kind of enjoyed this video. I mean, I don't know if you can enjoy a video like this. Um, but I did want to give you all um, kind of some information as to where I've been, what I'm dealing with, and hopefully where I'm going. So I'm going to leave it there for today. I want to thank you all for listening, if you have listened all the way to the end. And um, yeah, I hope you'll stick along with me as I try to work through all this. And hopefully I'll see you in a new video sooner rather than later. So that's it for me for today. Thanks so much, everyone. Remember to like and subscribe, please. And I will see you hopefully very soon.